All right, guys, so we got Parker's Berserker out here. We're gonna go ahead and see if this thing has any kind of power. All right, here's the next one, let's do it. <laughs> that was very smooth. Man, I almost forgot how to do an intro without like some kind of explanation for absence. <laughs> Welcome home, Rep Pack. It's your boy, King Reptar here, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Bass Pro Shop, flip. Check out the Bass Pro Shops Fall Hunting Classic. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. It's about to get a whole lot brighter because your boy is here. And today is going to be a very, very... Wait, I'm sorry, did you say Ass Pro Shop? Ass Pro? No, I said Ass Bro Shop. Ass Bro, oh, okay. <laughs> That's where I get my lubrications done and I also get my coffee enemas. Gotcha. Parker has no clue what's going on today, but if you want to drive to Ass Pro Shop while I head to Bass Pro Shop, then that's okay. I'm not going to judge, except for I will, crucially, in my car by myself. And I might not talk to you again. But do I still get the ass? If you're one of the bros, they'd be passing about <laughs> Anyway, today guys, we are going to be going to one of my favorite stores in the entire world that we have not gone in a long time, and that is Bass Pro Shop. If you guys don't know what Bass Pro Shop is, it's basically take your camping section of Walmart, but then expand it and make it the entire store. Add a boat, add some four-wheelers, what else they got there? Add some gun, gun range, add an archery range, like... Uh, yeah, you, you kind of covered it. How about a waterfall? It's unbelievable the stuff they have there. But the reason why we're going today is if you guys don't know on this channel, I am an obsessive person when it comes to EDC. There's a huge buzzword right now on the internet. A lot of people making content about EDC. Electric so dance concert? I thought the same thing. And then I realized all those DJs ain't prepared for shit. I'm still behind the times. EDC stands for everyday carry, which basically means items that you can use with you every single day that would literally change the entire direction of your life. As you, somebody who's kind of seen me go through this process, Maybe just like two years ago, I wasn't this guy. Now, can't you say that since I've made myself an EDC man, I've gotten a lot more productive mm, yeah. and more efficient? Yeah. Because it's just generally, especially for somebody who's disorganized as I am, it's really good to have items that can be multiple uses. So right here we have a carabiner, it's a screwdriver, it's a glass breaker. My whole backpack's filled with stuff and we did a video where I broke down a little bit. I'll Mitchell pop it up on screen if you guys want to check that video out and see everything in my bag. But dude, I've even got down to my phone. Check this out. My phone was the issue because my backpack had an air tag. My wallet has an air tag. Parker has an air tag. <laughs> and I have an air tag on every single thing. Just so that way I can find it. I don't know where everything's gone. But my phone was always the issue because you need the phone to find the air tag. So if you can't find the phone, then you're just out of luck. So I got this lanyard on it that made it a lot more easy to find. And I can switch this lanyard out with multiple different colors depending on what I'm wearing on the day. But not just that, we got a nice pop socket on there. We got a strap to hold it on. We got a cover to cover our, our camera right here. Protector on that. And, and for privacy reasons, you can see I got a, a privacy screen protector. You guys can barely even see my screen at certain angles, but I know you can say I left my backpack behind, which is clearly wrong. But I've taken that EDC factor and put it into every aspect of my life because it's just so crucial. We're gonna be having a competition at Bass Pro Shop to see who can find the best EDC items. One, we're looking for something self-defense, something you can carry on your backpack, something you can carry in your pocket, something convenient, hopefully, for self-defense, something multi-use, and also, hopefully, something to just blow your guys' mind, something we've never seen before, something just fun and Bass Pro Shop-like that you can only get there. Anyway, without further ado, Let's hop in the car. All right, so we got the Bass Pro Shop ready to go. And I think the closest one near us is all the way in Rancho Cucamonga. You know it's far when the place that we're going sounds like a Pokemon evolution. <laughs> Cucamonga, that sounds like a primate Pokemon. <laughs> But we're going all the way over there. That is the closest one. It's an hour and 30 minutes. So make sure you guys hit the like button if you guys haven't already. Because we're driving all the way out there just for you guys. To pick up all this awesome stuff. So make sure you guys smash the like button. Anyway, let's hit the road. Okay guys, so we have made it to the giant log cabin. That is Ass Bro Shop. Or <laughs> Bass Bro Shop. Dude, there's not even that many people out here. I That's... love it. They're out there uh, having already camped. Exactly, dude, we gotta get one of those hats. If you guys don't know, they have iconic hats here at Bass Pro Shop for like $5. If we see one of those, maybe we'll end up picking one up. But anyway, dude, look at it. Outdoor world. There's a place for the world to be out. So let's go ahead and get inside of there. You guys know the challenge. We're trying to find some awesome EDC 
these stuff to see who can impress you guys the most. You guys are gonna vote in the comments down below who had the coolest loadout and found the coolest, most convenient and impressive items today. Okay guys, before we get too far into this video, I have to thank our sponsor for this video for making it possible, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of different classes to inspire you to learn more and also for anybody who wants to expand on any creative endeavor, they have a class for you. I've been watching Finding Fulfillment using pivots to power your creative career by Emma Gannon. Following the path of any creative career can be difficult, but also switching lanes once you're in that creative career can be even harder. So the fact there's a whole class on that is awesome. Skillshare is a perfect place to hone your skills and work on anything to achieve your goals. And the first thousand people to use my link in the description, the numbers are already dwindling, will actually get the first month for free. You know how much you can learn in a month for free? First thing you learn is how to make a good deal because you got it for free. Second, you can learn so much and you can try out the website, like I said, for 100% free to see how you like it, see how much you can gather in that time. Seriously, a month is a lot of time to learn a lot and you get it for absolutely free. So make sure you guys go check that link out. And again, thank you to today's sponsor for making this video possible. With all these world videos, it definitely helps so much to be able to have sponsors so thank you so much to them anyway guys on with the video all right you know you're at the right place when you see oh, this is like where scar lives like all the bones but this is so cool let's go ahead and go inside and see what we can find They have a fireplace inside of the actual store. Just to get those camping vibes even higher, we got a nice freaking gun right there too. This place is beautiful. We even got a bison up here. All right, let's take a look around here and see what we can find. Okay, so first item for my EDC is gonna be the Tracker Off-Road 600. I'm thinking about the golf cart, so. I don't know, but I need everything in here. <laughs> but we're gonna keep looking around, guys. There's so much stuff to look at, like, you know, from sports equipment, from coffee, to the, there's a whole world in here. We're just gonna go ahead and stop by whenever we see something new to share with you guys. Okay guys, so sorry if the lens was a little bit off since I got in here. We had something over the lens, but I'm not even getting this for the challenge. I'm just getting this because, dude, Eclipse tripod stool, you can put this inside your car very easily. It doesn't take up any space at all, and it's a whole stool. For 10 bucks? Yeah, for $10. We're already picking this up. This doesn't necessarily count as EDC to camp this in a backpack, but we're gonna pick it up anyway. Part of me wants to get this flare gun. But another, <laughs> another part of me in my neighborhood would probably be in trouble. There's probably another part of the law that says no. We'll think about this one, but I'm definitely getting this. This is called a safety blaster. I mean, I have a whistle on my backpack that's pretty loud, but apparently this thing can be heard from over a mile. So we're gonna pick this up and give it a try. This thing is really, really loud. and It's a good item to get people's attention. And of course it'd be located if you need to be. Right here we have some goggles, but dude, look at these goggles. I love about this store is just everything is so overly engineered. Oh yeah. Like it's not just goggles. Like it's like this cave, it's got like ultimate little clarity. Like there's just so much packed into it. Absolutely, I love this store. Let's keep looking around. through this parker was like what do you know about cornhole that's what i know about cornhole this is what i know about cornhole that's not it that's it that's corn dust <laughs> we're still looking around guys we're having a lot of fun in this store oh dude look i know that i inspired this come on wow that's oh, actually they're really all cool. tied up for display use only do not remove the axis marquis <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> okay, so Parker found a really, really cool item. It's a radio mixed with like being able to be recharged. I'm not gonna explain too much. He's gonna show you that when we get back. But dude, you didn't know they had Bass Pro Shop. Dude, I'm about to live stream this. We got Bass, <laughs> we got Bass Pro Shop. Fishing Sim World. So it's a simulation game of a fishing. Dude, there's a little guy, Parker right there with his fish. Dude, you can <laughs> simulate this right now. I mean, I would look, there's never a black guy in the back of these fishing games though, you know? Why don't you be the first? The first half black man. I wouldn't even be doing it right. Okay guys, we found one one of the most useful items out here. Obviously, if you guys know, we're in California. There's a lot of restriction when it comes to firearms, unfortunately. Over here, we have bear spray, which is one of the best deterrents possible. This thing sprays really far, and look how much you got. It's a lot more than typical uh, pepper spray comes with. A lot more spray than there is bear. You can drown the mother... Oh, you do want some more? Open up. <laughs> so I'm gonna be getting this one. It comes with two cans. I'm gonna be getting Parker the other can, just cause I got, you know, you gotta watch your friends back, make sure they're cool too. So you're gonna get two of these, but you're not getting the, the side strap. That's two. okay, I'm still cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're picking this up. This is a great find. Dude, if you have a tin like this, you could save a lot on mortgage and rent. You can live in this, dude. Oh yeah. You can't come in. Why not? Because you want, over here, this is my private section over here. We got strippers, we got, oh, damn it. I don't have any friends, you showed them. All I have is more of the tents. This thing has so much 
space. I mean, you can have a kitchen over here, a bathroom right here, your bed right here, have a little uh, mud area, and then you don't even need a front yard or backyard because the world is your front yard and backyard. Go ahead and uh, move that little tag for me. That's not, don't even lie. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Was that man. a tenth of like most people's rent? Exactly. Obviously, being homeless sucks. But I mean, you live inside this man's home. Yeah, but you're probably the first one to get robbed. You don't think this thing comes with a security system? And it's not Bass Pro Shop without the bass. So we have them right here. It's just super cool. It's just, I love this store so much. Just such a fun experience shopping here. We don't come here too often because it's about an hour away. But like I said, it's just really, really cool to have the experience. When do you come over here? Watch out, we got security. <laughs> Looked pretty intimidating, didn't it? All right, guys, so we are going upstairs now. I think this is where the stuff that we're going to need the most, but we found some cool stuff downstairs, but this is mostly fishing. Let's see what they got up here. I feel like when you get up here, this is when you can really see the scale of how big this store is. True. Like, look at this. Like, that is actually insane how much stuff there is to see. So we're going to keep looking out up here because I think this is going to be perfect. I don't know, man. I think you could use one of these for them PSA cards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my dude. two PSA cards, thirty-five hundred dollars. That's not bad, dude. I would get inside of that if I was nuke went off. <laughs> like, what else are you gonna get in? You got better chances. Yeah. Okay, so Parker found another awesome survival. Item. I did, but dude, this is what I love to see. We got the cold steel throwing knives right here, all blacked out. These are sure flight. These are like sure flights, like the ones they've been making for like probably over a decade now. They're so good. This is like the go-to knife for a lot of knife throwers. Really cool to see that here. This is kind of my world right here. I love all the knife stuff. Oh, dude, do you remember these? These are the ones I started oh, out yeah, with. Yeah, of course I remember these. These are the little knives that I learned how to throw with. These are the Bullseye by Smith & Wesson. Really, really nostalgic to see those there. We're gonna look around here. I definitely know we can find something in this section. Okay, so we're at Bass Pro Shop right now. We ran into actually a subscriber, but he works here. So thank you so much, man, for freaking doing all the awesome stuff. And thank you for supporting the channel. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Right. Awesome. Well, yeah come see me, guys. Questions, yeah. good. So he'll help you over here at Bass Pro Shop. Appreciate yeah. you guys so much. As you guys know, I love this store. We're always buying stuff. So it's cool that somebody watches the channel actually works here. Okay, guys. So we found everything that we need. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But shout out to Chris for doing that. He works here. And it's really cool to see somebody who's around so much stuff that we enjoy on this channel actually works here as well. So really cool to see you, Chris. Sorry if I gave you a little bit of a hard time you know, putting on the camera in that moment. But if you see this video, Chris, thank you so much for doing that. And you guys, hit the like button for Chris. Anyway, we're going to head on out of here. All right, guys. Guys, so we got a bunch of awesome stuff in here. I mean, it was like 300 bucks, but I mean, at Bass Pro Shop, what else do you expect? And honestly, it was worth every penny. <laughs> that story is just incredible. And again, shout out to Chris, the worker we saw there. That was just really, really cool. I mean, I run into you guys all the time. Like, I'm at stores and whatnot, but not often is it somebody who works there. So that was really cool, especially one of my favorite shops. All right, so let's head out. We're gonna get back home and then we are gonna see who impressed you guys the most with our Bass Pro Shop finds. Me or Parker? Okay, guys, so we are back now from Bass Pro Shop. It's a different day. We're going to be going through everything that we got. And you guys are going to vote in the comments down below. Who do you guys think won and found the best, most impressive items at Bass Pro Shop? And I think you should have gone to a different store. Why? Were you going to take the items from me there too? <laughs> no. You should have went to Ass Pro Shop. Yeah, where was that again? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the inner city. You, you don't want to go there. <laughs> a lot of red lights. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I absolutely found the cleanest, coolest items. So right here, we're going to start my first item and again it's supposed to be items that I don't already have so let's start with this one I didn't know what it actually was it's called a safety blaster I mean it seems like it makes sense you know blast for safety if you won't if you need safety you blast for it. it's like a magic conch sale you know oh I thought you were just blasting safety <laughs> Boom, you're that's safe. my other blasting safety <laughs> but let's see how this thing works it says works well when wet I would hope so because it's for a boat <laughs> Can be heard from a mile away. That was the key thing for me. It can be heard a mile away. You know how far a mile is? All right, so here we go. It says safety horn, blow here. But if I blow there, nothing. Ah! Whoa, my ears. We that went, ah! <laughs> but it was, was it as loud as it, as it felt for me? No, because you immediately stopped. <laughs> so I didn't have the chance to like resonate. Well, Parker has hearing problems. Well, you, that, no, that is not confirmed. What did you say? <laughs> Are you taking a shit out here? What, what are you doing? Got headphones. Wait, those are not headphones. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in my ears. That doesn't make it headphones. That doesn't make, <laughs> this is that doesn't headphones. Make this is the new Raycon. <laughs> uh huh. You heard me. Uh huh. I can't. I can't. All right, here we go. Is that hurting your ears? Yes. Is it that loud for real? I can 
feel my eardrum vibrating like when you get real like really up there. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> I am being serious. I am not lying. Okay. Dude, that's I don't crazy. got earphones. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to help myself. That's what I'm saying. Okay, can you tell me about this? That's insane! I had to I had to really dull my senses there, but yeah. Okay, so I want you to go outside and you're gonna get in my car and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna blow it as loud as I can and we're gonna shut that door. Yeah, yeah, we'll try it without the door closed first and then we'll try with the door closed. Alright, hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Can they hear me? I I'm sure they can. I love you guys. <laughs> Alright, can you hear another blower? Ready? Three, two. Yeah. With the car? That, yeah. Closed? I heard it. Okay, so we're going to close the door now. Let's see what happens. I'm going to close. You're going to see me closing the door. I see you closing the door. <laughs> yep. Okay, so that's the first door. And I'm going to go in the bathroom. So you hear the second door? <clears throat> so I'm in the bathroom right now. Ready? Three, two, one. I can hear it. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I heard it was like a, it was like a, a cat in the distance. <laughs> My ears don't work. We're, what about your headphones? They're on fire. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we tried it in the backyard too, and it was just even clearer than it was inside the house. So I think if I was down the street or like on the freeway and you were like trying to get someone's attention. I guess, yeah, on the freeway. <laughs> I think it's weird. Yeah. Do you ever try to just distract drivers? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, for the price and what it gives you, I mean. It looks like this belongs in a pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little chlorine tester. Yeah, but for something that sounds loud as hell, and I think dude more than a whistle you were here if you had some ear protection i think if i blew this as loud as i could that would disorient you because so you were like if i didn't have the earphones yeah oh yeah yeah like if like i was an intruder and like that was just what you decided to use as a weapon <laughs> yeah. and it could possibly like, work you're trying to quietly break into someone's house like, don't say nothing <laughs> And yeah, I mean, it would be the equivalent of like getting really close with an air horn. That, yeah, I'd say even worse. Dude, what if we got an air horn attached it to this? Whoa. <laughs> this thing works underwater too. Are we trying to reach Aquaman? Like, <laughs> you might need to. Neptune? With a so if you were like, let's just say you were being attacked and you just dropped in the ocean. So that one <laughs> didn't get to you because this guy doesn't like to swim. And you need to call for help. It doesn't matter if you're drowning. You can use the last bit of air you got left to go. <laughs> <laughs> Come find my body. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but like, I don't understand how that works underwater. That's to be expected with you. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> if I could pull this off, uh. you would see that there's a metal drum in there. Okay. And that drum is what creates vibrations. And you see, vibrations are how sound works. I know this. But the thing is, with these vibrations, you they're not question. the ones you know about. This right here is sickness. And I'm going to spray paint it all black. That's just unnecessary. And people are going to think it's a little flashlight. And then we go, boom. And they're like, ah. <laughs> All right, you guys give me your votes down below comparing this to Parker's next item. Don't be looking at it like that. Don't be, don't be prejudging it. It's actually not over there. It's over here, but whatever. Okay, so what you got here for us? Arms cross over there. Are you ready to just uh, dismiss me? I have a arm cross. You the other have, one would be if you it don't could. even know about adjustable angle. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I actually do. I always have to adjust my angle. Right now, it's kind of a little off. But this right here can sharpen any knife on the planet. <laughs> okay. And you know what? You might be thinking, oh, well, you know what? Some are sharpened differently. Some had different angles. This is an adjustable angle. See this little knob right here? Yeah, I was with you when you got this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can adjust that, you can turn that, and then it moves the dials so that way it matches your angle. I'm not gonna lie, it is remarkably convenient. It's remarkably convenient. <laughs> yeah, remarkably convenient. Why does the camera only want to focus on adjustable? Okay, so we're gonna pop it open. I'm gonna try it out, but I think the best knife for us to use it on, I actually don't know. Let me see, uh, we'll figure it out. I just... <sighs> I mean, we can't find a knife because like I can't think of any bad knives, like not sharp really? knives really? that we have. Really? Yeah. I know that. Can you think of a not sharp knife? I can. What? A useless knife. Something that barely works. I can. What is it? The unboxing knife. Oh, that's a low blow. He's, but you know it's true. Yeah. He's like that 40 year old kid you can't get at your house, but you know, you love him. You love him, you just want to see him do well. <laughs> But I think maybe you could try the unboxing knife. I don't want to break your little your little shit here. Well, I bl break it. I, <laughs> I mean, I don't think he's gonna you're gonna have the energy to come over. Right, blah, 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 blah. Unboxing knife. <laughs> Here we stand, 
stand at the grave of Frankie Frockle, the stunt double. He was a, I really don't know a lot about him, to be honest. I, did, I didn't really pay attention to his interview. He had great skin. I know, I know that. He had great skin, and that's probably more the reason I hired him. I mean, wanted to make myself look good, but the point is, he's gone, and we can all remember him. But just a little bit, I mean, don't spend too much time. Don't forget about me. Just remember now he's dead. We can forget about him. He's gone, okay? Finally, no issues on this one. Let's do it. All right, so let's see what you got here. All right, let's. <laughs> yeah. So this is by Smith and Wesson. So here we go. We got. Dude, that is solid on the hand. I like oh, it. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. You, you know. I you didn't, you didn't even feel it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> it was the plastic. I asked the associate. I said, "Can I feel this?" Well, honestly, it's actually kind of sticky. You're sticky. I know. <laughs> we got this right here. Are you adjusting no angles yet? I'm adjusting whatever I want. Oh, dude, you can literally see it move in the angle, though, in there to get a more tight, like, pinch. Yeah, okay, okay, I see you. Yeah. I see you through there, okay. I see you too. So right here's my blade. Let's go a little sharp test on this guy. You'll see. You'll see. I'll see what? You'll see. Wow. <laughs> really, really <laughs> scraped it up there. <laughs> The point is, not sharp. So, let's test it out on this. And we'll see, is it really the real? All right, so we're gonna do this for a little bit. We'll see if Parker actually found something worth a damn. All right, give it a little something. A lot of shrapnel. Let's see, let's see what you got here. Let's try it out. That looked like a little Nike symbol, but it's better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you had all day, like that would be <laughs> yeah, a brand was, new knife. Yeah, that was like within like five minutes. So that was damn near perfect. I got to give it that. That was awesome. Okay, so the sharpener definitely worked out, and that's a great item. So you guys in the comments down below, and I can give uh, Park some credit for, yeah, the, uh, for the, the choice. Yeah, the angular angular. That is pretty cool, too, because you can put this inside of your backpack easily. It's kind of big, but like obviously for sort of camping and survival backpack, you can easily put that in there. And I, what I do love about it, the thing I love the most, the angles, not the angles, but more importantly, the angles was the item like identification. It's not easy to remember all of this stuff off the top of your head, but you can see right here, it's got kitchen knives, it's got fillet knives, it's got pocket knives, you know, so that way you know exactly what angle you need for whatever type of knife you've got on you, which is really cool. And to keep that information on there. All right, I got to give it to you. That's a good one. That's I know, one, but not as good as what I got coming up next. Okay. So now that I have impressed you and depressed Farger with my great item, <laughs> this big is like blasting. We turn the camera. I don't know if it's picking it up. Is it glare at you too? No, I think you're crazy. Right there. Stop doing that. I'm gonna ignore that. But right here, guys, I have my next item. This is the cold still click and cut. The reason why I got this is because this is designed by Tim Wells, which is really, really cool. Really cool guy. I'm glad for Tim. I, it's not Lynn Thompson. I thought it was gonna be Lynn Thompson down there, but this is a creator knife. So the same way you got like Zion Williams, his own sneakers, Tim Wells is his own knife. Doesn't this kind of look like the unboxing knife? It looks like bit? a imitation. Exactly. I'm just saying cold steel, you know, maybe I'm no Tim Wells, but I don't know. Maybe enough people, uh, people have, uh, been here to know about uh, the old knife guy over here. But maybe one day Cold Steel could do a ADHD's world knife. I mean, they do collaborations, clearly. Yeah, with people we don't know. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I know Tim Wells. Well, you do not. You Googled him. I do now. <laughs> but this isn't about putting down Tim Wells. This is about me getting a sponsorship of Cold Steel. Okay, so. What will we all get brought up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody. I want Tim Wells there. I want to be there too. But if we can get a custom knife, you guys, somebody out there knows how to contact Cold Steel. Steel or knows anybody at Cold Steel. We need an ADHD world knife. You can make a limited edition. You know, I'll pitch it. You can put it out. We'll make it a really good knife. So that way it's all universal anyway. You know what I mean? Just a unboxing knife of sorts. Exclusively for unboxing. <laughs> All right, so the way this works is I got it because it's got a really solid blade there, but it's like a razor where you can replace the blade. So as you can see right here, it says Master Skinners. It's a skinning knife. So the reason why the blades are also interchangeable is because you it's easy, to get it that sharp, it's easier just to replace the blade. And these are not that, it looks like they're really solid because they're cold steel, but typically like these scalpel type of blades aren't that like solid, but this one's so solid and they're replaceable. I just feel like that was interesting. That's cold steel, baby. That's cold steel. So let's open it up, click and Cut. Maybe this will be a, a little bit a little temporary unboxing knife. Oh yeah, man, now that's cold steel. Feel that, dude. That's like that's as solid as it gets. I got some paper. It's my list of 
things to do and things to improve on. Can we talk about this? No. Is that really on your list? Yeah, that's not really my list I'm working on. I have things to improve on, Parker. You want to work on those right now? Writing list? No, I'm not that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and take out the first blade we got right here. This one's like, whoa, okay. That one's definitely our skinny knife. And then over here, ooh, we got the serrated knife. That's like those razor blades, like the ones, the box cutters, but like prehistoric sized. Yeah. That is insane, dude. But feel how solid that is. Does that feel replaceable to you? Nah, it dude. doesn't look like something you can get. This You can get this in like a four pack or or something, you know? We've had wish knives that were less solid than this replaceable blade. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even, I didn't even blink. I, I, that was so... Wow. This is not even on the knife, dude. To this corner right here. <laughs> the little curly squiggle. Dude, that's as, like, as sharp as it gets. We're going upward, dude. I don't know if you know anything about directions, but that's up. No, it doesn't work usually upward, dude. You, the whole definition is like downward, dude. Check that. If you like like this on it with your finger, you're going fingers. <laughs> that is terrifying how sharp that is and how solid it is. Okay, so they got that blade right there. <laughs> what about that guy? This guy, I don't know if it's the same test. <laughs> Whoa! That's a serrated knife! Dude, with a serrated knife, that should not be working that easily. If you look at the line, it actually does get messed up because of the serration. <laughs> I almost want to try the whole book. <gasps> oh! <laughs> That's with this blade. Bro! I think I'm thoroughly impressed. Dude, you know how easy it'd be to do flat tops? All right, we are gonna go try these blades out outside, which I didn't even expect to be doing. Holy crap, that is sharp. And then all that, nothing can succeed the unboxing knife, mm. but it looks very similar, and this will probably be only on special occasions. This is gonna be my suit and tie unboxing knife. You know oh, what I mean? okay. We bring out the old Lockmaster. I love it. All right, as, as usual, cosine on screen, seal of approval. Tim Wells, he's done a beautiful job. This is his design, I'm sure. And not just that, cold steel, always, always, always. Oh, choked up, quality. The power of Dyson gold back. I have a gold vacuum. I spent more on this than most things in my life. I know, <laughs> <laughs> I was there. Watch how it cleans it up. Nothing left behind. All right, guys, so we put a different blade on there. Let's go ahead and try this guy out. I have a feeling it's gonna be, yep, just like that. Butter. <laughs> Literally nothing. All right, one more test. Are right, you ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> that was a quick blast, dude, right there. <laughs> All right, so what do you got here? This thing looks pretty cool. This thing is all in one. This thing is the utmost inconvenience and utility. This thing is a digital AM FM radio along with an NOAA weather band radio. <laughs> all right, you don't even know. Okay. You don't even know. This thing has a five volt USB output, right? <laughs> what does that even It's mean? got a half watt LED light. And then not only that, it's got a bottle opener and an aluminum <laughs> carabiner built into its rugged IPX4 splash proof design. Okay, wow. What Thanks. do you mean, wow? Yeah, damn right, wow. <laughs> That's that really thing, convenient. Yeah, 100%. All that. <laughs> yeah, but powered by your choice of solar or hand crank. This thing is infinite power if you want it to be. I bet you don't know what any of those numbers I know are. all of it. So let's see if it's actually better than the one that I have currently. What I will say is it does look smaller. I do like that form factor, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's pop it on out. We got the USB charge you spoke of. Oh, you know what? Okay, that's something solid. Yeah, I know. Dude, that is, this whole thing feels built. That's what I'm saying, it is. It's rugged IPX4 splash proof design. <laughs> no, when you Aluminum say that, carabiner. it sounds like a bunch of bullshit, <laughs> but like you're holding it, this is actually super sturdy. The one I have in my backpack feels like plasticky, yeah. which is plastic, this feels more like rubber. Well, yeah, exactly, that's the IPX4 splash proof design. Okay. And it's ruggedness. So you can <laughs> drop it and you don't have to worry about it breaking. Aluminum carabiner means you can hang it anywhere you need. I mean, you throw this thing in the streets, it'll never gang, it'll survive. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy Crank works really good, and I gotta say, because the handle, because, oh, you see that powering up right there yeah, on the side? Yeah, infinite power. That's infinity right there. <laughs> oh, dude, it's got the old telly antenna. For your NOAA, you know, weather band, the radio. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's got a bottle opener, too. That's what I said, it's the utmost inconvenience. It really is, actually. I gotta say, this is a pretty cool item you got here. 
Yeah, you got that? Yeah. It's not I very powerful. Permanent. I have that permanently for probably the next 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so the light doesn't work, but what about the radio? I want to hear some tunes, man. That's just someone speaking, man. <laughs> You know what, you laugh, but like if you were out there surviving, you had heard music in months, you hear this, you'd be... I'm pretty sure I would be wasting my time with music. I'd be trying to get directions, trying to get <laughs> attention from somebody. This is nice though, I gotta give you that. Oh yeah, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I gotta say I like the most about it though uh -huh. is probably the metal carabiner. That is super solid, that's not going anywhere. Let's no. go outside and see the solar panel. If there's any way of indicating if it's even solar charging. Okay, so if you check it out right here, you can see. So you see right here the battery symbol? Ah, uh, yes. All right, so watch, I'm gonna flip it. I'm just gonna move my hand. Check that out. Oh yeah. You can see it already instantly charging. I mean, it's a bright LED screen for your easy convenience of reading of how you're infinitely charging. No, that's actually really, really nice. Let's take it back inside. For real though, like that's actually super convenient because I have one of these on my backpack. I mean, they've had those portable chargers for years, you know, and they always run out of power at some point. You can fill it up. You leave it in your car in like three, four weeks, it's dead again, just from sitting there. But with these guys, I have one just sitting on my backpack. It picks up sun all the time. Every single time I check out the battery, fully charged, fully freaking stopped. I mean, that's the sun for you. Always there. Yeah, it's really it, and it doesn't have to be there for long because you can save it. Like, that's amazing. So I, if I recommend anything in this video today, I think I'm going to recommend one of these. Maybe it's going to be this one. No, it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Parker's item. <laughs> it's not. It it's it's, it's Parker's chosen item. I think it could be any of them. Rugged IPX4 waterproof design. With an antenna. <laughs> for your AM, FM, PM digital needs. Yeah, you know they can. Yeah, you can lay it down. That's pretty cool. What, what are you in the sixties? Like, <laughs> whoa, this thing can just do that. <laughs> this item I do recommend though for anybody to have on your bag, in your car, anything like that, where you got a sun charge. And anything, and anybody who makes that you know good decision to get this piece of convenience in your life, all I say is welcome to the future, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's see what my item next. You'll be in the real future. What? <laughs> <laughs> like the future you were talking about, that's fictional. This one is the real future because it's later in the video. Okay, so my last item. Boom. The Grizz Guard. <laughs> I love this name. I love it. This right here is a grizzly bear. <laughs> what? One of the world's biggest predators. You know who's also one of the world's biggest predators? It could be your neighbor. It could be anybody in your life. You don't know that. I like how you only said your neighbor as an example. Is that like <laughs> that's your way of telling me? It doesn't matter if he's 600 pounds and hairy as fuck. That's a grizzly guard. Okay. Okay? It's gonna protect. So this right here is what I got for my defense. Obviously, we had a lot of options there, but I just wanted to get something that's gonna easily stun somebody. You can get away. I mean, you don't gotta be close to them. You can, you can mess up whatever the danger is. Bear, coyote, person. Get the hell out of Dodge. Maybe you can't carry this EDC, but you can with this. Yeah. Right here. This guy right here on this side. Little holster. Yeah, you can lock that onto a backpack for camping or anything like that. I just think it's a good thing to have, especially for me, I already do own a firearm for my own protection, for my life protection, but I still would rather use this kind of, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to always be like, you know, that's you, like your only resort. Sometimes the stakes aren't that high, you know, and you just kind of need something to get somebody out of a situation. So I think this is the perfect item for that. And so like for us in California, like this is legitimately okay to use and stuff like that. So it's definitely a lot better in that little small can of pepper spray. Let's go ahead and pop it open, check it out, put it in the holster, and we're gonna go do a little test spray, very little test spray outside. It's good, because I brought a bear. That explains why he's there. <laughs> Fuck you. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the holster right here. That guy is nice, got a little grip. Oh, that was two holsters, dude. Yeah, you got two cans, don't you? Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be giving one of these cans over to Parker just so he Ooh. can have one as well. I mean, you can keep it in your car if you ever go on a camping trip or um, if the camping comes to you. Camping always comes to me. Yeah, your backyard just dirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this out very safely. So this right here is a guard protector. You pull this out and once you go ahead and do that, you can press this down easily and it shoots out. Fun fact, because I already own one of these, this right here also glows in the dark. So you get the charge up and if you're in the nighttime situation, there's a power out or anything like that or if you're camping again you don't have a lot of light you can still find this very easily by that glow in the dark top so it's a guard for the grizz guard it's a grizz guard guard all right so there we go we got it in the holster good to go there you go parker oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh let me get some of that i've been looking for a new breath spray ah. all right so test it yeah. <laughs> 
Okay guys, so we're trying this. How we're gonna do it is we're gonna just spray it over here to the side. Hopefully the wind takes it somewhere else. And then we're gonna take this stuff off and we're gonna review the smell. Maybe I'm gonna spray it in one spot. So that way we can smell what that particular spot smells like. Give it a little bit of a taste of like how it would feel if that was on us. But nobody here is trying it. All right, so we slide this piece off. All right, that's off now. Once you slide that off, it is ready to go. Three, two, you smell anything? No, but you soak that thing. Yeah, I tried to, but dude, did you see how big of a spread that was? In moments. In moments. Pull somebody's whole face. That thing covered. looked like it was covered in honey mustard. Okay, so that was unbelievable. We were both like mesmerized by how saturated it got in such a quick amount of time. That's why I wanted to do this test so you guys could see how quick it covers something. Well, let's go ahead and take a look if we can even get that close. Do you see it smoking? Holy crap. Am I tripping? No. Oh. Okay, so that was done. We were wearing a mask and everything and we still had to get out of here. No, we had to leave. There's no way we could stay there for long. No, that is definitely not something you want to mess with. I mean, I'm, I think I might have rather be shot. Yeah, <laughs> honestly that. though, because here's the thing. We sprayed that. We went all the way inside the back corner of that. Imagine if someone had to use this in an enclosed space. Well, no, Mitchell showed the close up real quick of like how quickly it got saturated. Your whole face would be red in that shit like, instantly. Oh yeah. Like he's just debilitated. Yeah, you could you'd be <laughs> gasping because there's nothing to grab that's not saturated in that smell, you know? But we did it so you guys don't have to smash the like button. We're gonna clean this up and we'll get back inside. Alright, so what did you get for self-defense? Self-defense? First off, I don't need anything for self-defense. I am defense. <laughs> I, somebody else puts up my fences. <laughs> but when I <laughs> I get worn down, I got the cricket axe. Okay. Axe. axe. Okay. This thing right here, it's got a Tennessee hickory handle. Right? Damn, that thing has an accent? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Southern charm. Yeah, and then you got an axe with a hammer on the back. This thing actually moves. You, know, It's not just stuck there. And then you might be thinking, oh, why does it move? You don't want it to move. Yeah, you do. As a matter of fact, you do. But first <laughs> Don't off, see it moving. You got corrosion resistant coating. This thing ain't gonna corrode on you. You're gonna corrode faster than this thing. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. probably will. Lifetime Along warranty. with, like, probably also, like, the cups in your cabinet though. <laughs> this thing is built for outdoor use and you can't get anything better. You only get your life though. Your, your grandkid can't return it. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. This thing, you can use it. It's actually a lot for throwing. I mean, I was going to say it has a look of like a throwing axe, kind of. You could, I mean, you could definitely use it for that if you're good at that. Okay. I'm excellent, but. Excellent. Yeah. If only you were. <laughs> yeah, nobody axed you. <laughs> you didn't know what that be. Whoa, it's an axe. Okay, we get it. It's an axe. It's not just an axe. This thing is much more more than just an axe. I thought you said that thing moved. I was really waiting for it. I, I didn't want it to smash my hand. <laughs> no, see, it's got a lever. You can even feel the res Oh, you, yeah, you can feel that coating. Go ahead, feel that coating. <laughs> Doesn't move. It moves. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> we'll go test it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you something. I already set the axe. It was never gonna move. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got Parker's Berserker out here. We're going to go ahead and see if this thing has any kind of power. I mean, we know that it's going to be able to cut some shit, but let's go ahead and see if this thing has any kind of smoothness with it. What more do you smooth. want? That was smooth, too. <laughs> Not as smooth as this. <laughs> that was very smooth. All right, here's the next one. Let's do it. Damn, I didn't expect the little reverse there. Yeah, if anybody needs a nice pour, we got you. All right, one more test and we're throwing it. Pretty clean. All right, throw test. Let's see if the crickets got it. This thing would be an absolute brick if it hit you with the weight, not just that. It would, first off, it would break anything that this thing made contact with and then stick in. So we'll see if it will stick though. Ooh. Man, that one. I, I can just feel like it would knock all the air out to you and you're like, oh shit, that axed me too. <laughs> I mean, just the impact alone. Oh my God, man. Like, look at this. Like the depth of that. 
All right, the axe is pretty damn sweet. I'm not gonna lie. But you guys in the comments down below, let me know what was your favorite item feature here today. For me, I feel like I learned a lot about the bear spray, but I really liked a lot of Parker's items too. I'm not even gonna fret. You guys go ahead and comment down below who you guys think won in the comments down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. You guys do not want to miss the next video on this channel. It's gonna be a banger. So make sure you subscribe, post notifications on, check out this video screen right here, which is the last epic video on this channel. Because you may have not seen it. There's actually been two brand new videos on this channel. Been a while, so you might have missed those two. Go check them out. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.